Hi there, it's Kristen from the Together Act. Today I continue on my journey to KonMari, uh, my entire house, uh, and remove the clutter, hopefully forever. The category I am going to talk about today is the kimono category, which, as Ms. Kondo refers to it, is basically the miscellaneous category. I believe kimono in Japanese um, translates to small things, so this is a category that is then broken down into a whole bunch of subcategories that includes many, many items in the home. The same principle applies. You need to collect every single piece of whatever the given category is, every single item that's in that category, you need to collect that into one place and then you need to go through item by item. Now, the idea is still to ask if it sparks joy, but in this category, it's a little more difficult to tell um, if the things spark joy, at least I found that it was more difficult. Um, for instance, you've got extension cords and you've got um, boxes of band-aids and uh, different kinds of electronics and your toiletries. It was not real easy for me to decide whether some of those things spark joy. So I think in that case, you just need to decide, um, is it functional, do I use it, is it the best version of whatever the item is that performs a specific task, and go from there. The joy still enters into it because you'll know if you're sick of it or if it doesn't really work well, um, but it's not as easy as it is in some of the other categories. So the breakdown is, um, let's see, it goes CDs and DVDs is one subcategory, and then toiletries, and then electronics, and then um, cleaning and medical supplies, and then the kitchen is all included in this um, kimono category, and then sports gear, and then linens. And so I went through each category diligently. Um, I don't have a whole lot of CDs and DVDs, so that one wasn't too hard. Toiletries was really um, very, very, uh, therapeutic for me because I tend to save a whole bunch of little travel sizes and that sort of thing and Ms. Kondo of course has you pitch all of those things um, so that you're just left with basically one bottle of what you're actively using and enjoying so um, that was pretty liberating and then the cleaning in the medical again just kind of cleaned up the band-aids um, and first aid kit kind of things uh, and my cleaning supplies got to pare those down got rid of the things that weren't really working and I didn't really love the way they smelled or something like that and then kitchen, we keep a pretty minimal kitchen, so that wasn't too difficult either. I had the kids help me pull everything out of the cupboards. We put it all in one giant pile on the floor, and then we sorted through it. Um, for instance, we're not a family that eats a whole lot of seafood, and I had all sorts of shrimp cleaners and that kind of thing. I thought, why, why do we have these? These don't spark joy because this isn't something that I ever use in my home. So I got to purge those, send those to Goodwill. Um, but basically the, the kitchen was not a hugely difficult task, it just was a good chance to clean out all the drawers and the cupboards and get rid of things that we really weren't using or that were chipped and um, just not, not the best version of themselves. Um, and then sporting gear, again, my, my kids um, have their specific sports, but we've got that pretty pared down, so um, that was a clean out, but it wasn't too massive. And then linens, um, I found was interesting for us. I'm gonna get into linens a little bit with regards to folding. Um, I have a video that is on folding clothing. Linens are basically the same, if not easier. If you missed the video on how to fold clothing, I wanted to make sure that you know how to fold the linens, uh, even if you're not changing the way you fold your clothing. So I'll include that here in this video. Uh, linens for me were not a difficult category, but kind of eye-opening. I realized we have a million towels not because we should have a million towels, because some of them were really pretty gross, but just because I don't seem to ever throw away towels, even when I buy some fresh towels. So a lot of towels were put in the bike um, cleaning bin, and I think that my husband and son were happy about that because they have some new towels to wash bikes with. And I now realize that we had way more towels than we were ever using. So we now each have you know, two bath towels maybe, and some, um, washcloths and some hand towels and then in the kitchen I got rid of all the yucky old dish towels and uh, bought a few new ones at Ikea literally I think for 79 cents a piece and um, so now our, our kitchen drawers are, are nice and tight with the number of towels that we have and the quality of those towels. So I'll give you a little folding um, and storing info now um, that will make it easy to put away the linens once you purge them. Okay, let's get to folding linens. So I have found that these nifty little uh, collapsible boxes from Ikea, they kind of zipper on the bottom and make this great little box. They come in a few different sizes in one pack. And I've found that these are terrific to store washcloths. So that sits inside my linen closet and the washcloths could not be simpler to fold because 
They're squares and they stand up super easy. So I just tuck them one at a time right in there. Fold them so that they stand in a little packet. Tuck them right inside. And then that goes right into the linen closet so that everyone can have easy access. And then dish towels. Take the dish towel, fold it in half. As my children would say, fold it in half hamburger style and then hot dog style. And then in half and in half again until it makes a perfect packet that will stand up inside my drawers. Now you might have to modify this based on how deep your kitchen drawers are or um, just based on how deep the area is where you're going to store them, if you're gonna store them in a pantry or on a shelf somewhere. But basically you want a rectangle that stands up on its own. And then once you have your little rectangles standing up on their own, you can drop them right into the drawer. And then when you pull open the drawer, you can just pull one out for easy access. With regards to bedding, we don't have a whole lot of extra bedding. My kids each have one set of sheets for their bed. I have a couple sets of sheets for our guest room. And um, my husband and I have one set of sheets on our bed. So one day a week, it is sheets day. We pull the sheets and we wash them and we put them back on the beds. Ideally, I guess it would make sense to have another set of sheets for everyone's bed. Just haven't gotten there. And actually, it makes the linen closet very empty. And um, then we have some beach towels and then we have the towels and um, washcloths and things that we use for ourselves. But this category really gave me an opportunity to see that I had way too many towels. So we've gotten rid of those and now everybody's on board with the same folding technique and the cupboards look great and the drawers look great. Um, and I'm glad to be finished with this uh, kimono category because it was a big one. But uh, now that it's done, a lot of areas in the house are cleaner. So I wish you lots of luck. If you have any questions, email me at the email address below and I will see you next time for the next category.